Hi, in this video I will talk about binary cross entropy loss. Consider an algorithm, for example a neural network, for binary classification. Each circle with n denotes a neuron. In binary classification, there are two mutually exclusive classes, positive class and negative class. Since classes are mutually exclusive, each input belongs to only one class. Binary classifier is expected to predict positive class probability for each input. That's why binary classifier has one output. Suppose no activation function is applied to the output of last layer. Without any activation function at the last layer, network output is called logit. Logit is unbounded, it can take any value. But we want our classifier to predict a probability for positive class. And probability should be in 0 1 closed interval. That means we need to convert logit to probability. For binary classification, sigmoid activation is used to map logit to 0 1 closed interval. Sigmoid activation is used to map logit to predicted probability. Here are the equation and graph of sigmoid function. p hat is predicted probability that input is from positive class. 1 minus p hat is predicted probability that input is from negative class. Binary cross entropy loss or log loss for one training example is computed with this equation. p is ground truth probability and p hat is predicted probability. If class tables are categorical, they should be converted to numerical data for neural network training. Class tables and class probabilities. This conversion is called binary encoding. Loss increases as difference between predicted probability and ground truth probability increases. Label is also called ground truth or target output. Consider the graph of natural log function between 0 and 1. In this interval, logarithm takes negative values. That's why log result is multiplied with minus 1 to compute loss. For a small difference between predicted probability and ground truth, loss is small. For a large difference between predicted probability and ground truth, 
loss increases significantly and the prediction is penalized more. Binary cross entropy loss can be used for Binary classification where label is 0 or 1 and input belongs to one of two classes. Multi-label classification where label is 0 or 1 and input belongs to one or more classes. And regression where label is in 0 or 1 closed interval. For example, as reconstruction loss in convolutional autoencoder training. For regression task, note that when p and p hat are equal and different from 0 and 1, binary cross entropy loss is not zero. For example, if p and p hat are both 0 0.5, This is the loss value. It is not a problem because the important thing in model optimization is minimizing the loss. For more details, take a look at these videos on my channel. And that's all for this video. See you next time.